What's up everybody? It's Neil here with Gadget Hacks. Today I'm going to show you how to apply the LG Optimus lock screen to your Galaxy S4 for added personalization and customization tools that your stock lock screen may be lacking. Now in order to take full advantage of what this lock screen can offer, make sure your Galaxy S4 is rooted. After doing so, head into the guide on GadgetHacks.com and make sure to install the LG Optimus lock screen APK. So after installing that, let's open it up and make sure you enable the lock screen. And then the next thing you want to do is go down and disable system lock screen. So if you have a lock screen right now on your device, make sure you disable that. Now before you hit disable, make sure you disable it right here. Or Sorry, make sure you select none for the lock screen and then go ahead and disable it. This will prevent any um, glitches or having two lock screens essentially applied to your device. Now one thing you may want to note is looking through the options, there's no security preferences or anything, so you will not have a passcode or a secured lock screen. So just be aware of that if you're into your security or into your private stuff, so just take note. Alright, so let's go over some of the cool tweaks you can apply. So if you go right here, you have lock screen effects. Now there's particle, crystal, dewdrop, ripple, white hole. Uh, I'll show you crystal because it's already applied and it's pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and lock it. Oh, see, sometimes it glitches like that. And you just swipe, check out that cool little crystal. So you just swipe, and it moves with your finger. There you go. Let's go show you one more. I like white hole. Let's lock. So I'm going to swipe, and you have that like burning hole effect, and it's exposing what was left on your screen. So that's pretty cool. All right, before we go into personalization, let's just go over some of these options. You have sound options, like make a noise when you lock and unlock the device, vibrate when you unlock. There's shortcuts. You can apply applications if you want. You also have notifications. If you want to enable these, you can see missed calls and new messages. There's also the option to hide your status bar and swipe to show it again. So if you notice, my status bar is not there. But if I swipe, it's there. Now let's go into personalization. From here you can do things like select the wallpaper, as you saw I have a custom wallpaper. Um, you have clock font, you can change the font. It comes with a few and then there's custom, you can select, select custom if you have any on your device already. Uh, clock color, there's date font, you can select the size of that font, edit that color. Um, there's also owner info, so let's go ahead and show you this. So let's go do that, and now let's lock it, unlock it, and see right down there on the bottom left it says Neil's phone. You can hit auto and it'll give you like um, some system information like your battery life and things like that, but I prefer clean lock screen so I'll just do this. Um, there's definitely a lot of tools that it offers, like I said, aside, that are better than the stock lock screen. I mean you can change the fonts, move stuff around, you can uh, have those awesome uh, unlocking effects which I really dig and that's probably the main reason I'm using this lock screen. So definitely check it out. Check out the full guide on GadgetHacks.com. Don't forget to like, comment, and definitely subscribe for some more awesome Gadget Hack videos. Thanks guys.